as we speak right now, 350,000 kids, school kids in Chicago, remain out of school. Most are black, Hispanic, and are poor. This administration has called for equity in education. So who does the Biden administration blame for failing these young kids? Well, first of all, the president has been very clear. He wants these schools to be open, uh, including in Chicago and including across the country. Uh, that we took steps early on in the pandemic, even against skeptics who didn't think we needed this funding in the American Rescue Plan, to pass $130 billion that has already been distributed to states uh, and gone to many schools across the country to put in place mitigation measures. It hasn't been applied everywhere, but a lot of states have used this and a lot of communities have used this very effectively. So he would like to see schools open. Uh, he believes that not having them open, as you've touched on, impacts the mental health of children. We've seen that. We know that learning gaps is something that it, we are seriously at risk of at this point in time, and that's why we'll continue to call for schools to open. 96 percent are open across the country and are doing the right thing. Will he get directly involved at a certain point? How many days have to go by before he jumps in? Well, we, have, we are in regular touch with uh, teachers, uh, school administrators, labor leaders across the country uh, nearly every single day, including in Chicago, and uh, that, that will continue. And we will continue to make the case for schools to be open. Another question, please, on religious freedom. Uh, does President Biden 